from Minute Maid Park in Houston. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Chicago White Sox taking on the Houston Astros. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. 2022 Houston Astros. Okay, all set to go. Here's Tim Anderson. Ball to strike. Swings through that one. It can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitter's got to look down in the zone. And down on strikes he goes. And there's one away. And now it's Luis Robert. Next offering is in for a strike. And a pitch. And it's even up. The pitch. That misses. And it's three and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there. On its way. Gone. Luis Robert hits one out, and the White Sox jump out in front. It's 1-0. One, one out, base is empty. And now the first baseman, Jose Abreu. Next one misses, and it's 2-1. and one. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. That one in for a strike, 2-2. Two and two. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Two gone. Two outs, space is empty. Yoan Moncada getting ready to hit. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Bregman under it. And that ends the inning. Here's a former MVP, Jose Altuve. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. Jose Altuve will touch them all. And we're all square. It's tied at one. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. So it's all tied up thanks to the home run. Michael Brantley stands in. Tied up here in the early going. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Two and two. Out towards left center. Robert on the move to the right. Got it. Covered plenty of distance there. And there's one down. Now it's Alex Bregman. The third baseman, Alex Bregman. And here it comes. He swings and fouls one off. Righty to the plate. Swing and a pop up. Foul territory for the catcher. Grandal makes the catch. Two away now. Here's Jordan Alvarez. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. And down on strikes. And that is that. Welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. Leading off, Aloy Jimenez. And a 1-1. And a 
ball evens the count. Got him swinging. One out. Yasmani Grandal up to hit. Big time power. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. A.J. Pollock at the dish. This one lifted in the air. Left field. Brantley drifts towards it. He's got it. And that is out number three. And welcome back. Here's Guriel. Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. Here's a 1-2 stays alive shoots a line drive single into right center I'll tell you man it's such a good feeling when you that smoke a line drive into the gap right like that I mean sure home runs are king but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way Here's Kyle Tucker. Kicks and fires. A rope into right, and that's a base hit. Lead runner to second, so two on and nobody out. Back-to-back -back singles. You can't do much better than that on a pitch that far outside of the strike zone. Got him in the chase on the two-strike count, but he wasn't fooled. He hit that ball. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. Runner around third into score. Row cut off, now to the plate. He beats it safe. And they take a two-run lead. Well, he had the opportunity to drive in some runs, and he comes through to break the tie. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but no still an excellent swing of the bat. The 2-1. And a foul ball. No outs. Runner on second. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One gone here. Martin Maldonado up to hit. The catcher. Martin Maldonado. So now one and two. Man at second. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The pitch. That one the other way. Tosses to the pitcher, covering the bag. Pitcher gets to the bag for the out. So the Houston lineup turns over. And stepping in for the Astros, Jose Altuve. The 1-1. Come back to the mound. And it gets by him. Well done. Drives in the run. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. And Michael Brantley is going to come up to hit. Throw to second, out there, and that ends the inning. Back here in Houston, out of the third inning, and now the DH, Gavin Sheets. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Next offering misses. The count now two and two. Left-hand batter waits. And now it's filled up. to center. McCormick gets under it. 
Puts it away for the out. Here's the second baseman, Josh Harrison. And a pitch. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. The count two and one. And that one fouled off. Next offering is down low. And he deals. And that one in the air center field. McCormick drifts towards it, hauls it in, and there's two away. And now the shortstop, Tim Anderson. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. And a pitch. And that one fouled off. Here's a high chopper. Bregman to first. And yeah, they take care of Anderson for the out. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Back here at Minute Maid Park. And yeah, the batter now, Michael Brantley. Well, he's back out here for the third. And after the first couple of innings, pretty rough. I think the skipper is looking for him to give him a little bit of length, see if he can save the bullpen oh. some. The next pitch misses, and that's ball two. And a swing and a miss there. Well, he looks fresh out there. Just needs to get a little more confidence and remember how good he's been in the past. Fouled off left side. Next pitch is downstairs. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. And they get Brantley for the out. And there's one down. And here is Alex Bregman. He popped out to the catcher his first job off. Kicks and deals. There's a strike. The 2-2. That's inside. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. 3-2 on the way. Fouled off again. And it remains 3-2. Three 3-2. Two. Three two. And he walked him. Pretty good spot on the outside, but just couldn't quite clip the zone. That's a stone-cold take. Run around at first with one gone. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, oh, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. So first and second with one man gone. Now it's Yuli Gurriel. The 3 1. And that's ball four. Man, that's a tough one to take on the four count, but I guess he saw it really well. It's a really nice plate appearance. One down. Now it's the right fielder, Kyle Tucker. The pitch. Brogan, oh. situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. And the right hander deals. And it's fouled away. Here's the 2-2. That one oh, missed. Yeah. Bregman, the runner at third. Alvarez on second. Guriel at first. One gone. That one out to right. And he makes the catch. Runner tagging from third. The relay throw. Not in time. He's safe at the plate. And they lead by four. Sometimes all you got to do is your job and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner third, less than two outs. Put the ball in play and a nice job with the sack fly. 
Two one pitches in there. The count is even. And a ground ball to first. Oh, great grab on the dive. Nicely done for the out. As we go to the top of the fourth, Luis Robert now. Strike two. One and two is the count. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And he beats it. He's safe. Jose Abreu up to hit. Here comes a pitch. On the corner for a strike, and it's a full count. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Puts the squeeze on it, and there's one down. Here is Moncada. He popped out his first time. And the pitch. Runner takes off. Strike in there. Throw to third. He's safe. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Now two out. Aloy Jimenez now. The left fielder. Aloy Jimenez. Two outs and one in scoring position. Check swing, but he went too far. That is strike two. Right-hander kicks, deals. Stays alive. Righty delivers, and now the count is even. And the righty deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. A little tardy on that fastball. is going to have to get it going a little quicker, get that front foot down. Got him looking. Third out, and that ends the frame. here at the ballpark ready to go for the last half of the inning and stepping in for the Astros Jeremy Pena here's a 1-1 and another ball clearly he hasn't had it in this game and looks like sooner than later they're gonna have to go to the bullpen 2-2 Two -two now and there's a foul ball pitch a little bit low we got a full count swing and a high fly ball down the right field line Pollock makes the play and there's one away and next to hit for Houston Martin Maldonado grounded out his first time down the line this one hammered but it's foul well he was ready for that fastball right there really turned on it hit it hard had the distance but just too much hook to it so might want to make a little bit of an adjustment let it travel a little more and see if you can keep that thing fair so the lineup flips over we'll say Altuve up to it here at the belt and fires out there to center Robert under this one makes the catch two away man at first now Michael Brantley steps in and a ball in two strikes fastball and he gets out of the way straighten him up a little bit 
Maldonado, the runner at first with two gone. Got him. That is the inning. We go to the top of the fifth, and now up to the plate, Yasmani Grandal. The wind and the pitch. They've got a potent lineup, and when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Picks up strikeout number seven. So up next for Chicago, A.J. Pollock. A swing and a miss. That's out number two. Two outs, base is empty. Next is the designated hitter, Gavin Sheets. He's over one. Left hand hitter waits. And there's ball four. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. The pitch. In for a strike. Two and two. And here it comes. Ball. And it's filled up. Great RBI spot here. Ball Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. That's to third. In time to Guriel. Out number three. Back now to start the bottom of the fifth and taking over on the mound, Ronaldo Lopez. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings and the little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Back here in Houston, bottom of the inning and stepping in for the Astros, Alex Bregman. And a pitch. That one fouled off. That's hard hit on the line. Leaps at the wall, but can't haul it in. The throw into second. In there. Just beat the tag. It's a double. So, a man aboard. And next will be the cleanup hitter. You're Don Alvarez. He's 0 for 1. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Grabs it on the run. And there's one down. Yuli Gurriel comes up to hit. Singy, he's got a history of coming through into big spots. I know I like to talk about I'm not sure whether clutch actually exists. But you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver in those spots. Two and one now. To third. Moncada tossed to first, and Guriel is out. Kyle Tucker up next for the Astros. Good contact guy, good defender. Bregman at second with two down. Next offering upstairs. And downstairs. Swing and a ball hammered left field. That's back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. Kyle Tucker sends it out, and they add to the lead. It's 7-1. So two down. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Chaz McCormick. One for two. Line drive, base hit.
Really nice job of two strike hitting in that at bat. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. And the batter now, Jeremy Pena. This ball's chopped on the ground. Over to Abreu. That's out number three. Welcome back. Top of the sixth inning at the play. Tim Anderson. 1-1 one, one now. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Slow roller to first, and that's a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. It's amazing to me that he was able to put the barrel on that one. I mean, that pitch was pretty well outside, but great extension and bat control through the zone allowed him to drive it the other way. That was pretty impressive. And now Luis Robert. Next pitch misses, and a count two and one. Righty to the plate. Now a screamer into the outfield, and a base hit. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Digging in, Jose Abreu. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. And he deals. The punch out there. And one gone. Two on with one out. Now here's the cleanup hitter for the White Sox. Yoan Moncada. The 1-1 one -one is cut on and missed at a pitch upstairs. Kicks and deals. Swings and misses. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. So first and second with two outs. Here's Aloy Jimenez. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. So close to getting out of it right there, but this inning still has life. So up next, Yasmani Grandal, who's over two with a pair of strikeouts. All loaded up, dangerous hitter at the plate. Check swing, went around. And the count, one and two. Left-hand batter waits. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. McCormick makes the catch, and that'll do it. And welcome back. Well, we go bottom six. Here's the catcher, Martin Maldonado. Right-handed reliever. On the ground. He takes it on his own, and a quick out number one. Back to the top of the lineup. Now it's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. He's already homered in this game. The wind of the pitch. Foul ball there. And he walked it. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch, and I tell you what, he earned that walk. Man at first with one gone. Here's Michael Brantley. The 1-1. One, one. And that one hammered way back there. And that ball is gone. He blasts one out to right, and they throw a pair on the board. It's 9-1. Such an incredible swing right there on that breaking ball away. Did an incredible job of keeping the hands back, letting it travel. And boy, he just hammered that. Recognized the break. And man, this guy kept his front foot down. Weight didn't transfer until the exact time. An excellent backspin to carry it over the fence. New pitcher for the White Sox, Vince Velasquez. And we'll see how he performs in this situation with his team down big. Here's Alex Bregman. Kicks and fires. Off the mark That's there. Ball. Two and two. Two, two. 
the why to kick the pitch. They say you win. Gathers and throws to first. And they get Bregman for the out. Just not a good pitch to swing at. One reason he's an everyday player is he usually lays off of that junk. The 1-1. One, one. Good eye in that spot. Two outs. Fouls one off. Two and two. The wind of the pitch. And there's a fly ball, deep right field. That one on its way. Gone! Jordan Alvarez circles the bases. And they add to their lead. It's 10-1. The great pitchers are able to tease the outside part of the zone with the breaking ball. That means that it looks like it's going to be a strike, but finishes off the plate. Well, that one finished on the outer half, but caught just too much of the plate and hit for a home run. Stepping in, Yuli Gurriel. That one drilled left field. Out of here! Yuli Gurriel comes through, and they tack on to their lead. It's 11-1. Back-to-back jacks, and this club is fired up right now, Boog. I mean, this is the kind of thing where you really start to notice hitters in a lineup feeding off each other, and the collective confidence just continues to grow. And now Kyle Tucker fouls one away, and now three and two. Next offering is fouled back. The pitch. To the right side. Sends it to first, and that is that. Top of inning number seven, and now the right fielder, A.J. Pollock. The pitch. Next offering is outside. And the pitch. In the air, left field. That's a base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. Christian Javier on the pitch here. And he's got a nice lead to work with. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Astros, number 53, Christian Javier. Gavin Sheets steps to the plate for the White Sox. And the pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And a pitch. Just missed. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. One away. Man at first. Now, here is Josh Harrison. Right-hander kicks, deals. And one and two. And the right-hander deals. That's off the mark. Ball two. Pollock stands at first with one out. In the dirt. To second, but way too late, safe there. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, but maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable.
And they're all That's loaded up. Four, Pretty easy walk base. right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. One out, base is loaded. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Luis Robert. The 2-1. Okay, there's a breaking ball that drops in there. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. In the dirt. Gets away from Maldonado. Here comes a pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains 3-2. Three and two now. And that one ripped into right. Tucker makes the grab. Runner tags for home. Cut off. Now a throw home. Safe at the plate. And they're on the board, but lots of ground to make up. And here's the first baseman, Jose Abreu. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Kendall Graveman. Uh, this guy can bring it velocity-wise. of the seventh and stepping in is the speedy Chaz McCormick next offering is in for a strike definitely not a pitch location you're expecting up there as a hitter when you know the guy's got a good sinker ball if he can get in that location boy you've got to look top to bottom and that's going to make it very difficult to hit swing and a slow roller Harrison fires over to first one up, one down. Good onside run and sink on that pitch right there. Got inside on him and got him to bounce into that out. So next up for Houston, Jeremy Pena. At the belt and fires. And a good eye there. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a false scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. The pitch and a foul ball. and miss struck him out and two away now here's the Astros leadoff man Jose Altuve he's already homered here in this one Pena off of first with two away next one misses and it's two and one Blast to left center, way back there, on its way, out of here. A towering home run, and they boost their lead. It's 13-2. For a pitcher, the odds are in your favor if you keep that breaking ball down. That time, he got punished for it. Hitter just did a really good job of staying within himself and getting the barrel to the baseball. Base is empty with two away. And now it's going to be Michael Brantley. Here's a 1-1. One -one. No, that missed. 
Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Next oh. one just misses. Full count now. And the righty deals. Line drive. And it jumps the wall in foul territory for an automatic double. Man in scoring position with two away. And next to hit for Houston, Alex Bregman. So now three and two. And he gets Bregman. Good job at damage control right there. Back here at Minute Maid Park. We go to the eighth, and now it's switch hitting third baseman, Yoan Moncada. And a 1-1. Just oh, off the oh. inside edge. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Checks his swing, appeal to third, and he went around according to Clyde Washington. 3-2. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Aloy Jimenez steps to the plate for the White Sox. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. And that's ball four. Well, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the okay. second time he's taken ball four. Now the catcher up to hit, Yasmani Grandal. Swung on, belted. Back there. Makes the catch up against the wall. Man at first, and up next for Chicago, A.J. Pollock. Next offering misses, two balls and a strike. And here it comes. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. Just kind of sliced that one into center. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Now it's the DH. Gavin Sheets. Rolled over to third. Slides, but it gets by him. Here's the throw to the plate. In there. He scores. And they're on the board, but lots of ground to make up. First and second, two down. Josh Harrison now at the plate pitch rolled softly but that goes foul Pollock at second sheets at first two out of the inning and a foul ball The pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Inning ends, and that stops the bleeding. Back here in Houston. Out of the bottom of the eighth. Here's some real power at the plate. You're Don Alvarez. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. And stepping in for the Astros, Yuli Gurriel. And a pinch. And that misses off the outside edge. Righty to the plate. Guriel gets a piece. 
Right-handed reliever. And there's ball four. You get a walk. And you get a walk. Everyone gets a walk, boo. Kyle Tucker, the next to hit. And he deals. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And now two gone. Here's a speed threat. Chaz McCormick. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. The next pitch misses, and the count is three and one. So how much does his speed factor into his ability to go get it? It's heartbreaking for the hitter because off the bat, he thinks this ball is going to get down. Because of that speed and the ability to make up so much ground, he enters the picture and breaks a guy's heart. And down on strikes he goes, and that's the third out. Back here at the ballpark, we go to the ninth. Stepping in, the White Sox leadoff man, Tim Anderson. Kicks and deals. So now one and two. There's one guy that I can think about, Boog, who started as a third baseman, Alex Gordon, and then became an elite perennial gold glover out in left field for the Kansas City Royals. But he's a guy, when you watch him play, you would imagine that that's all he ever played in his life was the outfield. Up the middle, and that's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. So, man aboard, Luis Robert steps to the plate for the White Sox. Righty delivers. In there. And so now one and two. Yeah, some guys just have instincts, right? I mean, that's the way it goes. We talk about Larry Walker, the Hall of Famer, and his instinct on the bases, despite the fact that he didn't play a, a ton of baseball as a kid. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And one out now. Jose Abreu will hit next. Remember Mark Kotze was a real good defensive outfielder. Good instincts, not great speed. 1-2 now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And they're down to their last out. Yoan Moncada with a chance to hit. Anderson off of first with two away. Yeah, and I figured you would get Kotze into this because you had a free dinner at his house the other night. That is true. Next offering is in for a strike. And that just misses. Two and two. And that's down and away. Down and full. Just one strike away. So now two on and two outs. Gosh, another walk in this one. Man, he is having some real issues with control. Aloy Jimenez steps to the plate for the White Sox. Foul ball. And a payoff pitch. Stays alive. That one is absolutely belted back there. He pulls it down, ball game, and the Astros slug their way to a win in this one. Well, I'm not sure if he expected to get nine outs in this one, but he had the gas in the tank to get it done. Kind of a throwback save for this guy today, but helps the team get the win. As you can see, they're pretty happy about it, and they're celebrating his performance in this one. 13-3, our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chambi saying so long.
joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.